Hey YouTube, it's beautifully unique, aka you a big girl 205. So I am back with the face part. So what I did with my face is I basically um if you look at my face of the day, I said I used the Blue Kitchen Space Creator. I'm 3D face creator, so that's all I'm gonna use basically. I am taking the level 15 and using the lighter side of that and basically going up under my eye, cleaning up um all that smoky part. So yeah, and I'm going to do that for the majority of my face. side and I'm going to use that for my contour. I'm just basically going to put that in the hollows of my cheek and put that once I get done with that side. Well then I'm blending it up. I put it in the hollows of my cheek and then I blend it up. Um, I know it's going to look like a hot mess in the, in the beginning but we'll need it all come together at the end. But once I get done blending it up I'm going to actually put it around my jawline and blend it up from there too.
bring it back up. Um, I use the same eyeshadow to do my brows, and I'm using a blending brush to do that. Um, I'm gonna go back over that powder. But yeah, I'm basically putting that in there and blending up again to basically reinforce whatever kind of my contour slightly, whatever it actually got kind of uh, blended away. Actually, next I'm gonna put Sweetest Cocoa from MAC on a MAC 109 brush. And I'm gonna put that on my cheek and blend it in with the contour and that'll be able to bring that contour down so. Okay, so here I'm gonna take Cargo's Bronzer and Dark. Basically, it's my complexion. So that first got a little shimmer in it. So I'm using that as my highlight. Yeah, and after that, I'm taking um, <clears throat> Laura, Mer Laura Geller, not Laura Mercy, Laura Geller's um, Matte Maker Invisible Oil Blotting Powder. And I'm putting that on my face to basically matte everything out because I do look slightly shiny. And, um, that is basically it for the face. So thanks you guys for watching and I'm going to come back with the lips. Bye.